Why don't you tell them who you are and what you do? Oh, hi. Them? My name is Kiani. I live in Hawaii. I'm a raw food meetup organizer here. I've been involved with raw foods for uh, almost six years now. I was a raw food chef for uh, up to 20 people at a time. I would organize dinner parties and invite people over and we would all get high off the food and the food was really amazing. Um, my meals would also include uh, drinks and desserts afterwards and uh, it was quite a turnout. I now organize um, potlucks and we do other events too like uh, I take people on hikes and I teach people how to forage for wild foods. We go on ocean adventures and we do like uh, different farm and garden activities too. But today what I would like to talk about is the more healing aspects of raw food. And I know that for most people just the benefits of raw food alone will really help them to improve their health. But over the years with raw food I've I've noticed that um, certain diets and foods are going to be more helpful in, in healing them. Mm -hmm. And when you leave the dish underneath it and you keep it full of water, that allows more moisture to remain in the soil. And that will allow the sprouts to grow faster and better. Cool. When I use that method, sometimes I can get the sunflower sprouts to grow and just and provide more energy for Know, the, the more long-term uh, raw food enthusiasts. And these foods would include um, the low sugar fruits like tomatoes, bell peppers, uh, cucumber, zucchini, and those types of things. Uh, leafy green vegetables, seaweeds, fermented foods like sauerkraut, uh, fermented coconut, um, fermented uh, sunflower and sesame seed yogurts, and also living sprouts, uh, sprouts that are grown in soil, ideally, that are uh, picked while you eat them. Um, foods that have a high amount of life force are able to transfer that life force into our bodies when we eat them. So let me ask you them. one thing. You know when you sprout and you say you sprout with the soil, um, in the soil, so you just cut the sprouts on top of the soil? and then the sprouts uh, sprout again or how? You sprout them from seed actually. You put mm -hmm. the seeds in water overnight and in the morning you take it out, you put it on top of a, a pot or a tray that has soil in it. Then you cover that lightly with a thin layer of, of more uh, top soil or, or just soil if you have. Um, you should be using organic potting soil or you know, some other soil that you have uh, collected in your neighborhood. Then you want to uh, keep that really wet using uh, spray bottles with filtered water or rainwater if you have. And it takes about four to seven days for them to sprout. Sunflower seeds are probably the best. You can also do you know, a broccoli, you can do uh, onion, fenugreek. Uh, clover, you know, there's a lot of different sprouts that you can grow, but uh, sunflower is probably the easiest and the best one. I also sprout coconuts, but that's a much different process, and it takes many, many months for a coconut to sprout. And the, the part of the coconut that you eat when it's sprouted is not the leafy uh, green portion, it's actually uh, something that grows inside of the coconut and it's more like a baby root ball. A baby but what? Because it is a root ball. It's like yeah. a root that that is forming inside of the coconut and then when it eats all the co coconut meat and breaks through the shell it shoots out a bunch of roots and becomes uh, the root ball of the tree. Is it spongy? Yeah, it's, it's spongy, yep. it's light and fluffy. Yeah, because I, I think I ate that before in the Philippines. Yeah, we have lots of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, okay.